Hello friends, my name is Mark Weekland. I'm a teacher and an author and today I'm going to read one of my books. It's a Scooby-Doo math mystery book. It's called Scooby-Doo and the Case of the Angry Adder. Crystal Cove had a problem, a snake problem. Snakes were mysteriously appearing in the most unlikely places. Two showed up in the library. One slithered through the supermarket. One coiled in little Tyrone's sandbox. The ghost in the purple cape had struck again. Mayor Jones was not happy. Two plus one plus one, he said. Put them together and you get four. It's simple addition. Very good, Mr. Mayor, said his assistant. You could also say two plus two equals four. The mayor nodded. Add the other snakes from around town and we have a mystery on our hands. I'm calling Scooby and the gang. The gang was busy watching the wild animal show with Guy Farrell. The show had been filmed in Crystal Cove. Just then the phone rang. Scooby-Doo and Shaggy took the call. Rakes? That's right, Scoob, said Shaggy. Snakes, and a ghost in a purple cape, too. Time to investigate, said Velma. Let's go. The gang spread out. There are five of us, said Fred. Two can go to the west end of town. The others can go to the east end. Two plus three equals five, said Daphne. It adds up. Or... You could say three plus two equals five, said Velma. When we meet in the middle, we'll be a gang of five again, said Fred. Looks like it's you and me, Scoob, said Shaggy. Velma, Fred, and Daphne watched the street for clues. At the playground, Fred found snakes on the swings and on the seesaw. I see five snakes here, said Fred. Add another five on the swing. Five plus five equals ten. Add five more from the slide and you get fifteen, said Velma. And there are snakes here, said Daphne. Five plus five plus five plus five equals twenty. That's twenty snakes in all. Or we could count up by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Either way, it's a lot of snakes. Meanwhile, Scooby and Shaggy had stopped at Dave's Snack Shack. Our security got a camera. Our security camera got a video of the ghost, said Dave. Take a look. Scooby and Shaggy saw a ghost slinking through the store. It, took, it put two snakes on the shelves. Then the ghost added two more snakes. Finally, it added six more. Ten rakes, cried Scooby. It does add up to ten, said Dave. We also found this strange note. I love adding to this town's problems. Sincerely, the angry adder. Dave showed the note to Scooby and Shaggy. Rangry ratter, cried Scooby. You got that right, said Dave. No, yelled Shaggy, pointing out the window. He means he sees the angry adder. He's right outside. Scooby and Shaggy bolted out the door. The angry adder turned in a, pearl of, turned in a swirl of purple and ran. At the park, Velma and Daphne and Fred were setting a trap. The adder put ten snakes on that bench, said Fred. We will add ten fake snakes here and ten more over there, said Velma. That's three tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, said Velma. Counting by tens is easy. When the adder sees the extra snakes, he'll be confused, said Fred. When he stops to figure it out, we'll catch him. The gang hid and waited. 
Suddenly, the adder burst into the open. He skidded to a stop when he saw the extra snakes. What? he hissed. Where did all these snakes come from? The adder began counting. Just then, Scooby and Shaggy showed up. Pool! they cried. Fred pulled the rope. The net closed. Hey, said Dave. It's Guy Farrell from the Wild Animal Show. I don't like snakes, and I don't like this town, snarled Guy. I was filming here when a snake bit my big toe. I wanted to give snakes and this town a bad name, but you meddling kids and your dogs stopped me. Scooby and the gang solved the mystery, said the mayor. I'll treat you all to snacks at the snack shack. Scooby dooby doo, cried Scooby. And that is Scooby Doo and the Case of the Angry Adder, a math edition mystery. My name is Mark Weekland. Thanks for listening.